how to make non-profit website on Wix. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna step by step show you how to create a website for your non-profit organization. Uh, so it may sound complicated but in fact it's really easy to do and in a few minutes I will show you how to do it. Firstly you need to create an account or log into your account on Wix.com. As you can see I already did it, I'm in my account. So guys, feel free to create an account on Wix.com because it's completely free. You just need to use your email address and create a suitable password. So next you just need to click this blue button, create new site. Now Wix website offers us to try an AI help, but in this video we don't really need it, so just click to set up with our chat. Now we need to choose what type of website do we want to create. So we need a non-profit website. So here we can choose what uh, we really need, like what type of non-profit website do we need. So we have a non-profit organization here, non-profit event, uh, maybe some charity event, uh, climate change non-profit organization, online non-profit event, fundraising organization. So guys, uh, choose whatever you want, whatever you need. I will choose this one, non-profit organization and click this button continue. I think non-profit organization is just more common here, just to show you as an example. Uh, so ne the next step is that we need to create a name for website, like for example charity something. So cho choose the apps you would like to add to your website. So basically I think we need this one, donations, collect donations with your own donation campaigns, Instagram feed maybe if you want to create this uh, events if you're making event you can add this one this app blog write posts to drive traffic and share your ideas so if you want this if you need this on your website so basically you need to choose this one I don't really need this uh, website I'm just creating a video for you so I will choose this one because this obviously a uh, basic app to our site in this uh, way so continue we are all set now we can continue to dashboard so here it is uh, here you can see we have uh, still four steps to create uh, to fill in so that we can have our website uh, basically it's all easy now we need to connect a custom domain, make this recommended domain yours on search for an available one. So charityheart.org, okay, maybe, let's go. Charityheart.org is available, so you can make it yours. Now we need to create your first fundraising campaign. Here you can uh, fill uh, your info about your campaign, like campaign name, image for your campaign, settings, donation frequency, donation amounts uh, I don't really need this uh, feel free to uh, create your campaign here uh, now I will show you how to design your website so basically the most important and the most interesting part of this video because obviously you need to know how to create your website and now I will show you uh, but now we need to decide exactly how we want to design our website pick a template or generate a design with the help of AI. Of course I will choose this one because I really like browse thousands of designs and pick one to customize. Wix.com have uh, really beautiful templates and uh, here you can see uh, this search bar you can uh, check like exact templates you want like non-profit or results for found for non-profit charity organization here okay like our name of website is charity so i think that's uh suits pretty nice okay click view check this template if you really like this template if you think uh, that suits the best so click this one edit the site now we need to wait until everything loads Wix website editor is the best option to create a site because you don't really need to know any of programming languages such as Python, C++, Java. You just need to use a website for creating another website. I think that's the best about Wix. 
so I highly recommend you to try this website and here you have it editors page uh, you can edit almost everything here here we can select which page we are on our website like we have home page who we are support us events news contact terms and conditions privacy policy schedule news post thank you page for example you don't really need uh, privacy policy here and you want to delete this page just click manage pages click delete this one pretty easy basically these pages uh, you can see invisible for users but you can make it visible basically showing menu very easy hide from menu for example if you don't want to delete this page you just want to hide it for some reason use this variant just click this button hide from menu now i will move to the next one uh, here you can see in the left we have functions such as add elements add section pages and menu site design add apps my business media cms so also you can see uh, how our site is divided into several parts from header here like what section terms and conditions and footer here obviously you can edit any of the section you can delete the section any of the section you can uh, edit the sections how you want do it smaller do it bigger delete some elements here uh, edit this text just double click on this text edit this text uh, double click on this menu you can delete this menu here it is you can edit this menu this is a button manage menu obviously it's very easy you can add page here you can delete page here change the text obviously delete this menu here and then you want to choose another one click this button add elements find here menu here it is horizontal menus choose this one drag it and here you have it obviously you can uh, change the color of it so basically very easy add section for example you have a terms and conditions section here uh, you would like to have welcome section and here you have it welcome you can change font size you can change font style color effects like uh, very easy for some reason it's invisible but never mind for example you can change this button like start now delete add elements add button for example view more and now you have it so in general the site has a lot of functions so i recommend trying to explore it by yourself the entire interface of the site as you can see it's very clear to any user so guys i think that in this video i showed you enough of the basics of using this site i hope you like this video and uh, uh, when you're done editing your site just click this blue button publish to go live with your site so anyone can see it in the global internet so thanks for watching and see you in the next videos goodbye